Hey everyone, real quick, before we get into the main part of this vlog, I did want to make an announcement. I was chatting a few videos back in the comments with J.H. Casey, and we discovered that we're both historical romance writers writing within the Regency era, and we also discovered that both of us had independently looked for other historical romance writers to, like, chat with. Or like a group of some sort already in existence on the internet and we had both come up empty-handed and we were sad about that and then we thought well why don't we make a group <laughs> so we did we made a discord group specifically for historical romance writers the period we're sort of generally aiming for is the regency or georgian era which is you know sort of the years surrounding the regency um so if you are a historical romance writer or even if you're just writing a story set in that time period um we would love to have you come join our discord group we've got a bunch of different topics going on over there already we're hoping that it will be a place where we can share information regarding the history of the period writing resources help each other with plot points or if we're trying to figure out what should happen next in our story and things like that um, and generally just be a place where other historical romance writers can gather and encourage each other. So if that sounds like you or something you'd be interested in, there is a link in the description of this video to the Discord. All right, announcement done. Let's go ahead and get into this vlog. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Meredith E. Phillips, and this is the beginning of week three of NaNoWriMo. If you watched, I think maybe one or two of my past nano vlogs here, um, you might remember that Monday the 14th, which is today, was the day I had to report for jury duty. Blew. I was not happy about it, but we went this morning. Um, <laughs> I got there at maybe like quarter to 10, which was my report time, 10 o'clock. And I waited in line. We had to go through a little metal detector. We went up a flight of stairs. There was a group of people, other jury pool folks waiting. As soon as I got to the top of the stairs, this lady came out of a side room and came to the front and she was like for jury duty and we were like yes and she was like we're at capacity so you could all leave and i was like see you later so i was out of the building before 10 o'clock which was awesome i came home i stopped at target first and came home i have changed into cozy clothes um because i had to put on i had to put on like you know professional looking clothing which i haven't worn in like literally three years because I work at home. Like I'm not dressing up to go to work. So I was a little nervous this morning when I was <laughs> getting like, you know, dress slacks out because I haven't worn them since August, 2019. And I was like, I hope these still fit. They did. So that was good. I am gonna try to do some writing. Um, I'm not gonna try to do anything crazy today. I don't feel awesome. My allergies started acting up like mid-afternoon yesterday um and by the time i was going to bed like i was sneezy and gross and like my whole body ached you know when you're getting sick and your your skin is all like you don't want it to touch anything and you're just like ugh. i was feeling like that and my husband was like you're just trying to get out of jury duty and i was like no i legit don't feel good um i felt better this morning um but i still have like some residual like achiness mm. So I want to just do the writing. I still need to finish up a few little things for the video you saw on Tuesday. Um, it's already uploaded. I just need to do like the description and thumbnail and everything. So I just kind of want to get all that done and then maybe just sort of rest the rest of the afternoon. Two things though. Number one, I did say I would show you how I have my Scrivener set up. So I'm going to try to do that here in just a second. And number two, I just realized as I was, I was thinking about what like word count and stuff I was at, I'm just over 30,000 words and I'm not yet at the midpoint. Typically my first drafts are around 60,000. So 30,000 should be the midpoint and I'm not, I still have several scenes to go. So I'm thinking, okay, either this book is going to be longer maybe significantly longer than 60,000 words, which would be a first, or my midpoint is gonna hit at like 
60% of the way through instead of 50, which wouldn't be ideal. I'm not super concerned about it, but I was just like, wait a minute, your, your numbers seem a little wacky, but we'll see, we'll see how many words it ends up at the end. Um, of course, my goal for this month is to hit 50k. It's not necessarily to finish the story. I'd like to have it finished, but I might need to keep writing into December to actually like finish the story, you know? Let me share my screen with you and show you how I have my Scrivener set up. All right, so I've got my Scrivener document pulled up here. Again, it's really pretty straightforward. On the side here are all of the different sections I have. And what I like to do is to break the screen in two so you can do one giant screen like this or you can do the split screen um, and then you can have two separate documents up at the same time which i really enjoy the other thing you can do is if you click on one subsection over here and hit the space bar it'll bring it up in a separate window so sometimes i put one to the side and i kind of like squeeze this here so i can have three things up at the same time it might be a little unnecessary, but sometimes I like that. This is the actual draft stuff over here. I have it broken out into scenes with the Romancing the Beat beat titles listed here. Down here, I've got my story notes of various kinds. So I've got my scene by scene breakdown, which you guys saw. It's this template here. It's this template right here where I have all the plot information filled in. Um, I have the story summary here, which is just that giant paragraph story summary. Then I have very short information for the other books that I have planned for this series. Some of them have quite a bit of notes, some of them don't have anything or very little. Um, I have like the dates and stuff like that listed out. I also have a section for historical notes, anything I found online that I think will be helpful. Um, I just have kind of cut and paste a bunch of stuff in here. Some of it is just links, some of it is copy pasted text, etc etc. The next section here is on characters. I've got my two main characters for this first book, all of those details I did from the the character sketch stuff that I did. Um, I've got a list of other characters, whether they're secondary characters, characters you haven't even met yet. Um, I've got a list of them and then I also have a list of names that would have been common at the time just for reference. Finally I have a section here at the bottom just notes from various craft books I've read, the positive and negative trait thesauruses, um, anatomy of story, the romancing the beat beat sheet, and a few other things that I've just kept in here that I can reference if I need to. I've also got just old stuff that I didn't want to delete, but I really don't probably need. Um, I at one point started writing well before NaNoWriMo and I it's completely useless but it was fun and some original notes that like the story has deviated from that so anyway that's how I have my Scrivener set up so I hope that was interesting or helpful or both uh but yeah let's go ahead and get to the writing uh, I am feeling very tired I stayed up too late last night I started a new book and it was very good <laughs> um and I stayed up too late reading. Mar. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm still achy, but I do want to get in at least the minimum 1600 whatever words. We'll see how far we can go. Let's do it. Go, buddy. We got a little buddy with us. He gonna go to nights, hopefully. I got myself a little drink. It's still very hot, so I'm not gonna drink it yet. I'm at 910 words. It's 10 till one. I'm very tired. I'm feeling kind of achy and yucky. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going, but as soon as I'm done <laughs> with the next like 700 some words, I'm gonna be done for the day. So let's, let's keep going, let's power through. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm literally in the middle of a sentence, but I, I don't care. <laughs> I have exactly 1,750 words for today, and I'm done. I'm very tired. I'm ready to just rest a little bit this afternoon. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. I do need to finish up the video stuff for the previous video, though. Hmm. I'll do that, and then I'll be done for today. But for this vlog... I am done for the moment, so I will see you back here on Tuesday for the official start of week three. Mm hmm mm hmm Do we, do we look like the crazed writer yet? Um, I know I'm usually like the paragon of fashion, um, but this is the look we're going with today. <laughs> We've got a really messy, look at this. Look at this disgusting. I'm getting it cut at the end of the month, so it's it's fine. But we got to live with it for a few more weeks. Um, we're in the old college sweatshirt. We're in sweatpants. We've got on the grandma slippers. I'm doing great things over here. So it's Tuesday. I got a very exciting package in my mailbox this afternoon. It was my NaNoWriMo donor gift little thingy package. I got a cute bookmark. I got one of these wristbands that were popular like 12 or 15 years ago and I've never worn them, but I do appreciate them. I got the very nice sticker. I really like this year's design, so I'm very excited about that. No idea what I'm gonna do with it. And of course, the enamel pin, which is very pretty, again, with that cool flower design. Uh, um, again, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it other than put it in a bin and think about it occasionally, but that's fine. So, the this is what we're going with today. I thought about like doing something with my hair and like putting on some makeup so I didn't look half dead, but uh, this is what you're getting today. I just kind of don't feel like it, so <laughs> I'm not gonna. It is a little after four. I just finished my regular work day. I did not get up early to do any writing today. I just sort of didn't want to. <laughs> I wanted to sleep in just a tiny bit. I am getting up early tomorrow though, but not for writing. I'm getting up at 5.30. Actually, I'm getting up even earlier. I set my alarm already for 5.15 in the morning so I would have time to get up, help Crispin, get some coffee, and then sit down for a Mendelssohn concert. I'm really excited about it. Um, one of our favorite, favorite YouTube channels, completely not writing related, is Two Set Violin. And they are two Australian professional violinists, and for every million subscribers in the past, they've done a live stream event where they play some violin concerto for their subscribers. It's been really fun. The last two we've gotten to watch were really great. And this time it's extra special. It's their 4 million subscriber celebration, but instead of just like live streaming from their house, which is what they've done in the past, they actually are gonna be performing with the, I think it's the Singapore, I think it's their National Symphony Orchestra. Um, they're in Singapore right now, and um, they're gonna be doing Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto. So I'm really excited to get to watch them. Tomorrow, we really love their channel. I'll link them below if you've never checked them out. They're really fun. If you're like, ugh, I don't care about classical music, it's okay. You can still watch their videos. They're really fun. You might learn a little something about classical music along the way, but they're very, they're very fun and entertaining. You don't need to like be super into classical music to really enjoy their channel. Anyway, so because I didn't get up early today, I have zero words written for the day. So I really need to get going here if I want to be able to also you know, eat dinner later, et cetera, et cetera. Let's, let's get going. I, what did I do yesterday? I, yesterday was such a blur with like the day off and then the jury duty that like didn't end up being anything. And then writing, I took a nap in the afternoon, which was amazing. Yeah, I only got like 1700 words. Well, only, like I met par, it was fine. We are officially, also it's the 15th. We are halfway through the month like officially halfway through the month. I know that because the month has 30 days and 15 is half of 30. <laughs> I know. I literally left off in the middle of a sentence. It reads, Percy stood and 
guess we'll find out what else he's about to do today. So this part of the story I'm in actually is a little bit, uh, I don't, I don't want to say it's like a mystery element. There's a little bit of mystery to it, but it's not like a mystery that is spanning like a huge chunk of the book or something. But they do run into a little bit of a mystery. There's actually two little mysteries um, that they run into when they arrive at the country estate that they're staying in at the moment. And I am not a mystery writer. I don't know if you guessed that. So I'm, and there's, of course, this also involves like 1800s things to be mysterious about. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to make this a mystery. I'm trying to make a mystery element to make it interesting and also to bring the two characters like closer together, like, like having to work together to figure out what's going on. It involves like, I don't know why I made it involve this if I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's supposed to involve like bookkeeping and like embezzlement and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I've worked out something that's like, possible hopefully otherwise we'll be rewriting these chapters at some later point but at the moment I'm in the middle of this mystery element to the story and yeah let's write 1667 words mm -hmm. I'm done I'm done I wrote 1,747 words. Woohoo! And I finished the scene. So that's not bad. Uh, it is though kind of late. It's quarter to six. I really need to get dinner going and stand up from this dang chair because I feel like I've been sitting all day. <laughs> kind of short for today, uh, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yep, I'm gonna note my my word count on here. I'll update the nano site in a little while and I will see you on Wednesday, but not super early because I'm gonna be enjoying a concert super early. And then I'll see you in the afternoon, hopefully when I'm not too tired. Okay, bye. <laughs>
see how far I can get with it. So let's go, let's go. I was just taking a quick break and I happened to look at Facebook and somebody in our neighborhood had posted that they have a rabbit that they are going to give away to a child for Christmas. And now I have a pit in my stomach because that's not, those people don't know anything about rabbits. Oh, I hate that. If you have rabbits, do not give them away to children please uh, oh god i hate those kind of posts do your research please if you are getting a pet for yourself for your family for your kid do your research don't just take some animal from somebody in your neighborhood or on craigslist giving it away uh, those are the kind of animals that don't make it very long because the people who take them have no idea what they're doing and it ends up dead so but now I can't stop thinking about it, so that's great for my word count. I'm at 853 words. Why did I take that stupid break? I didn't need to. Please. I love rabbits. You guys know I love rabbits. But you got you got to do your research before you get one. They are not an easy pet. They're not a starter pet. They're not something a kid can take care of, period. Okay. My little rant is over. I'm going to try to finish some kind of work on this book. Uh, mm, I hate it. Okay, <laughs> back to the words. Okay, it's 5.30. I've written 1,099 words, uh, which is not enough for the day. This might be it, though. Honestly, this might be it. I need to start dinner. I made a stupid choice in what I was going to make tonight. It's like, <laughs> usually I like dinners that are like really quick and easy to make. I, I don't like cooking all that much and this particular meal that I have am supposed to prepare is like one that takes a lot of effort and I'm like why did you pick that <laughs> so anyway it's just gonna take me a little longer to make it yeah I need to start making it or it won't be ready by the time it's time for dinner so I'm gonna stop for today I'm gonna stop for today and just be fine with having a low word count day um, hopefully I'll get a chance to edit a little bit of this vlog later tonight too. We'll see. So we are in the middle of week three by the time you're seeing this. How's it going? I know this week is not always easy. Like I said last time, you know, you're far from the beginning, you're far from the end, and it can be kind of discouraging, but keep going, keep pushing, keep writing, and I hope that you get a lot of words written. Remember, if you're interested in our historical romance writers discord, uh, the link for all of that is in the description. For now though, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.